I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, my mom would see an action figure or a, a toy or my baseball cards lying around the house somewhere. And she always used to say to me, you better take care of those or else. I get so tired of hearing those words. Take care of this, take care of that. I tried, I guess, but taking care of anything usually amounted to dropping it in a junk drawer and it'd be lost forever. I'd end up cleaning out the junk drawer months later and it was like I was discovering buried treasure. And if that was the case, it was pretty certain I wasn't taking care of those things. A word for that is stewardship. But when it comes to stewardship, what's the first thing that usually comes to mind? Hmm? Yeah, money. Saving it, spending it, and giving it away. And while stewardship is certainly about money, the stewardship can also include um, our time, uh, our talents, and uh, all our stuff. What if more than all of those things, stewardship is really about, um, well, everything. And if you haven't guessed by now, this month we're talking about stewardship. Stewardship is taking care of what you have because it all belongs to God. Catch that? It all belongs to God. It's His, and He lets us borrow it for a time to take care of it so it doesn't get lost, broken, wasted, or even taken away. When we take care of what God gives, we have the potential to use those things, our, our time, our money, our talents, to do something that outlasts us and impacts eternity. The writers of the Bible have a ton to say about how God wants us to take care of what He's entrusted to us. That's why we think it's important for our kids to discover more about stewardship now when they don't have so much, so they'll be set up to make wise choices about their stuff when they have more of it. It's like our memory verse for the month, Luke 16, 10 a. Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. We want our kids to have a better future where they realize that everything, great or small, comes from God. And if we use it wisely, He may trust us with even more. With that in mind, we kick off the month by helping kids answer the question, how can you treat everything like it belongs to God? This whole idea of stewardship will be new to many kids, which is why we want to establish a strong foundation based on something David wrote in Psalm 24. The earth belongs to the Lord, so does everything in it. When we remember that everything belongs to God, it changes the way we take care of it. We can't wait to help kids discover all the ways they can help take care of what God has made and has given to them. Next, we look at specific things God has given to us, starting with our time. Doesn't matter who you are or what you have, everyone has the same amount of time in a day. We want kids to start thinking about how they can best use their time. To find out more about that, we look at a Psalm of Moses in Psalm 90, 12, where he prays and asks God to help us number our days. When we realize how much time we have left, we'll be wiser with how we spend the time we have now. We want kids to discover how they can use their time wisely. Now in week three, we'll focus on how we can best use our things and what's been entrusted to us. Jesus told a familiar parable about a businessman who went on a journey and left three of his workers in charge of some of his money. Two of the workers turned a profit, while the third buried his portion, did nothing with it, and wasted his opportunity for growth. God has given each of us responsibility over something, money, talents, even our stuff. We pray that kids discover how they can use those things wisely. The following week, we'll look at something Paul wrote in one of his letters that speaks to how we can best use our money. We have opportunities every day to spend money on all sorts of things and experiences. But what if we looked at our money differently? What if we looked at money through the eyes of stewardship and saw that how we use our money reflects how we take care of what God has given to us? Paul wrote, each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give. God loves a cheerful giver. One of the best ways we can use our money is to give some away and allow God to do something amazing with it. We'll help kids figure out ways they can use their money wisely. Now we wrap up the month by asking a big question. When it comes to this idea of taking care of what God has given to us, how do you live for what really matters? 
With all the voices vying for our attention and telling us how we should live our lives, it's important to focus on what Jesus said. Matthew records a sermon Jesus gave to his followers where Jesus told them, gather for yourselves riches in heaven. There moths and rats do not destroy them. Through all of these passages, it's like God is leaning into us and saying, take care of the world I created with the time I have given you. When we start to understand that everything we have is on loan from Him, it changes the choices we make about what we have. This month, we have another chance to make an eternal investment in kids on loan to us. Our hope is that this series will be a foundation for how kids see their time, their money, their talents, even how they see the world. We pray it changes their hearts as they start to live in a way that matters for eternity.